welcome to another episode of Gardener's Plot. Um, so today's gardening job is getting the French beans out into their tub so they can give them a bit more space to grow. And then we'll also talk, do flower of the week, um, plant of the week. Um, and it's actually my favourite flower at the moment. Um, it's tough list to say no So and then I'll give you an update on the seedlings. And we'll go from there. So, let's get these little bad boys out, and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, French beans to be planted out today. So, a couple of months ago, I filled these containers up with the waste from the chicken coop and I've left it all um, stacked and it's all started to decompose it's a nice bit of compost on the bottom of there and then put some fresh compost on top help give them a bit of an extra boost so I'm going to fill that up to the top let me move that down a minute Nice compost, so this should do really well on here. So there are a couple that are still not out yet. So I'll transplant the other ones out. And the other ones I'll leave in there and I might actually give them out to other people. So, so I'm gonna do this. Take them out very gently. There we go, make sure I've got some good root on them, so I'm going to let me move this down there. Position them in like that, so I'm going to do a few little rows of them, and then I'll do the same for the other one, so I'll see you on the other side. That's these guys now planted out I'm into their forever homes if you like. So once they start getting a bit bigger, I'll add some cane to them. So all I've got to do now is give them a bit of a water. And that's the French beans done. So they're doing alright at the moment. So I'll probably put them. I have no idea where I'm gonna put them. I'll figure that out in a minute. There you go, French beans done. Let's move on to plant of the week. So this week's plant of the week is the allium. So at the moment I've still got some white ones, although they have gone to seed now. So they're starting to lose a lot of their petals. I did have some purple ones early in the year, which are now like this. So they've already gone to seed and everything's gone back into the bed. So hopefully I'll have some more next year. So the alliums are also known as ornamental onions. Um, you've got a lot, quite a few different varieties of them. Um, they are a bulb which they do flower between spring to midsummer. So when you want to plant you want to plant these guys out sort of early autumn time and then you should then the next year get um, the flowers in the springtime. Um, what else? You need to put them in quite a sunny spot. These are right next to the pot um, just in front of the well in front of the pond and they sort of get sun all day so they do really well here and they do you can put them in quite a deep pot as well so they do well in pots so you don't just have to put them into the garden but they're quite a tall plant as you can see so they'll do good at the back of um, your bed if you like um, so then you can then work your way down 
through like your different layers of plants. Um, they come from quite a temperate climate, so it's northern part of the hemisphere. Um, well, you can people uh, some species are edible. You know, are used in cooking. Um, when you're different varieties, you've got different flavours. So just always just read up before you do add anything to your cooking pot. So yes, that is this week's plant of the week. Um, and at the moment they are my favourite. I kind of fall in love with Valiums. Um, bees and insects quite like them. Quite often I'll come out and they'll be visited by different types of insects and honeybees and stuff like that. So we want to put as many plants out as possible for the bees. So there you go. This is this week's plant of the week. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, update on the seedlings. So, still got some more beans coming up. So, you've got the runner beans coming up there. These guys have gone a bit weird, I don't know why. So, um, peas are also doing well. I think there's need a bit of water in here. Um, we've got cabbages coming up and cauliflower and broccoli. So, they seem to be doing alright at the moment. Sweet corn is doing really well. So, I might actually start moving these out soon. Um, Nice big thick stems. A lot of plant seedlings are coming on. Um, few and far between. We've got a little chilli plant starting up there. Still got these tomato seedlings which I do need to um, transplant out into smaller pots and I might take them to work to give out. The other ones are doing alright so I'm just putting these out during the day and then they go back in the greenhouse at night time. The new runner bean, um, French beans are out. Peas have just just gone, so just leaving them to it. If they survive, they survive. every now and then I get a bit of fresh growth, but I will just take those out. And then when those peas um, start getting a bit bigger, I can pop them in there, and hopefully these should do all right still. Come over to this greenhouse. Got the squash plants are starting to come up. Same with the watermelon ones. So that's good um still nothing on those ones yet but lots of herbs coming up um looks like a slug has ravished my mustard but, um no there's lots of new life so we'll go over to the allotment bit over there and then i'll also show you what's going on in that bit as well so right bear with all right so pumpkins are and um, squash plants are still doing really well we've got some new growth on these guys just put them behind here because Boston was being on them. Broccoli, we've had a bit of damage by um, something, I think it's caterpillars. Um, and it's been very hot lately, so they have suffered a little bit, so I need to put um, a water feeder in there for them. Kale's doing alright though, so the broccoli, um, sprout, sorry. But broccoli's still some life in them, so I'll try and sort them out this week might do that for workshop wednesday how to maintain veg runner beans are doing all right although we have some more aphids so ants are farming at the moment over here i'll show you as well so the ants are farming all the aphids on all my beans so thanks for that guys so i should be able to start picking some of these soon if i do I might even get them today there you go that's that bit i'll go show you the other little bit of the allotment lots of things happening over here so the beetroot's all coming out um same with the leeks same with the onions parsnips are coming out as well same with the carrots and radishes are doing really well as well so it's all going on over in this bit there's one or two weeds that i need to pull out but in a whole they're all doing quite well so i'm quite chef with these so far there you go update on the seedling so far That's it for this week's episode. Um, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, press the little bell, notifications, you get to see me all the time. Um, 
you can feel free to comment and suggest a plant for next week's plant of the week. Um, no idea what I've got to do next week. I've got lots to do. So yes, I'll try and figure out what I'm going to do for Workshop Wednesday. Um, comment if you want it to be like a wildlife or something to do with gardening or something to do with the animals. So comment on what you'd like to see and I'll see you all on Wednesday. You going to say bye or are you just going to go and eat in? No, I'm just going to eat. So that, that's it from Gardener's Plot. See you all next week.